Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can use and organize Launchpad on your Mac. So I'm using Mac OS 10.9. We're going to take a look at Launchpad. You can start Launchpad by clicking on its icon in the dock here and then you see icons representing all of the different apps that you have installed. Now it looks in your Applications folder for these apps so if you don't see something listed it may be that it's not properly installed there or it's not compatible in some way with Launchpad or your operating system. At the bottom you see a bunch of dots which shows you how many pages that you've got. And you can if you use a trackpad you can use two fingers scrolling left and right to go between them. You can also use Command and the left and right arrows to look at the different pages. Or just click on one of these to jump right to the page. So the main thing you want to do with Launchpad of course is launch apps. And you do that by simply clicking on the app and it will launch. You can go back into Launchpad and run something else and it will quickly launch as well. It's the same as clicking it in the dock except the dock you only have a limited number of apps that you could put here. And with Launchpad you have all of your apps. So it's all about convenience here. You want to be able to use Launchpad quickly to get the app you want running. So you want to learn the keyboard shortcut key. For me it's the F7 key. And you can see it quickly runs out there and I can hit F7 or Escape to exit it. Check in System Preferences under Keyboard and then Shortcuts and then look at Launchpad and Dock and you can see what your keyboard shortcut is here and make sure you have it turned on. So how to let you get there really quickly. And then you want to see which app you want to launch. Now notice there's a search field here at the top. You don't even have to click in it. You can just start typing because there's no other place for the text to go. It goes in there. And you see as I type it narrows down what's possible. And if I can narrow it down to just one like that I can actually use the return key and launch it. So it's a very quick way to be able to launch an app. For instance if I wanted to launch contacts I could do F7 start typing contacts and as soon as I see it selected I hit return and then contacts will launch. Now you also have the ability to organize in here a bit. You can see I've got some folders. Folders are created when you take two apps and drag one on top of the other. So for instance if I wanted to take uh, say compressor and final cut put them in a folder together just drag one onto the other it comes up with a name that it thinks may work. I can click here and change the name if I want. I can see what's in that folder. I can drag stuff out of it as well and put it where I want. And I could drag things around in here to rearrange. It kind of works the same way it does in iOS. Now Launchpad serves another very useful function. It lets you uninstall some apps. If I were to click on any app here and hold down and it's just like iOS I see these X marks here next to apps that I can uninstall. Now if if uh, the Mac App Store did not install the app the Mac is not sure exactly how to do the inst uninstallation and there may be a custom uninstall uh, application you need to run. So the X is not going to appear. But for other things you're going to see the X and I can simply click the X and it will uninstall the app from my Mac. So uninstalling for a lot of apps is that easy. So here's some little extra tips. I've changed my background here to be the default Mavericks background. So I want to show you this. You go into Launchpad and it will blur the background there. You can change the style of what happens behind Launchpad by using Control, Option, and Command in the B key. And you can cycle through and you get a clear desktop. You have an extra blurred one. You've got a black and white one and a blurred black and white one. And you can go back to the, the blurred one. So you can cycle through and find out which one of those you like the best. Also notice here when I hold down the Option key I automatically get the wiggle and the X's. So you can do it like iOS where you click and hold and wait or you can just simply hold the Option key down to do it.